There's a sense of freedom and a peace that I have with my because I work with a budget. It tells me what I can do, it tells me what I cannot do, it tells me what I need to save for. At the very basic level, I would say start with your pay stub, okay? You want to know what your net pay is. And just to clarify, net pay is the money after taxes. It's what goes into your bank account. I like to list my expenses in two categories. Mandatory expenses, like rent or your mortgage. Debt repayment is also mandatory. And I like to put savings under mandatory expenses. The next category is discretionary, and that's things like um, entertainment, eating out, gym memberships, haircuts, clothing and shoes. These are all things you have a little more control over. Having that, and when you do your budget, you make sure the mandatory expenses are serviced first. And whatever is left, that's discretionary, and you distribute that in the various categories. The consequences of not having a budget is debt. <laughs> One of the big consequences, because you spend, and most times not having a budget, because you haven't planned, you don't have the cash in your account, you don't have the cash in your hand, so you put it, you charge it on your credit card. And then the credit card comes, and I'll tell you, most times it's a surprise. I would even go as far to say that having a budget could help you realize your dreams as well. Having a budget causes you, well, you plan. Having a budget makes you plan and plan for the things that you love and the things that you want to do. I love to travel, so I plan in my budget for that. And because it's in my budget, I can put aside money for it, I can save for it and realize my dream of traveling.